This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, we are joined by our Roadie Deal of the Day. It's Centro Restaurant, and if you want a great deal, go to RoadieDeals.com. It's a $50 gift certificate for just $25. Bucks. Great deal. Chef Willis is here. Welcome back. Good to see you. Uh, what are you making today? So we're going to do a farro with um, roasted butternut squash, but mm. that's interchangeable. Okay. Uh, oh, the of veggies inter interchangeable. Of course. You know, time of year, we're right in the middle of, you know, the cold, 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 mm -hmm. and then, you know, the But summer. easing into spring, we want spring to come, so that's, it, it sounds like a healthy recipe, because they know sure. farro's a great, a great grain, butternut squash is excellent. What are the other things that we need? So, usually what we like to do is we, we kind of impact that nutrition with extra garnishes, so you have shaved radish, a lot mm -hmm. of raw ingredients, some fried sage, which is on, you know, just for texture, but... Fried sage? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, in the wintertime especially, it gives it a good texture when everything's so roasty. Uh-huh. And then um, just some, some local greens. We, we use a lot of sorrel and little microgreens that mm -hmm. pack a big punch, but, you know, give a lot of nutrition to the dish. Yeah. And what is this that we're looking at here? So kind that's kind of like up. our workhorse over there. We make an arugula pesto, and it goes on, you know, we put it on sandwiches, we garnish mm. dishes with it. It's kind of like our workhorse, everything. Yeah. And it's nice. It's I nice. like I love a good pesto. And now, is the butternut squash in two different, um, sure. two different ways, so I guess you could say? Normally with us, we use the same vegetable a couple different ways. That's mm -hmm. kind of our, our mantra, what we do. But we puree this one up to go in to the farro oh. and then we use this for you know just so people are a little bit more familiar with what it is but this one's roasted this one is kind of boiled in a little bit of cream uh -huh. to give it a nice luscious texture yeah and then lastly what's this so this is something i normally like to do um this is a cashew cream so oh. to add on to nice. the creamy and delicious yeah the the toastiness of farro mm -hmm. you add another source of you know, just richness to it. I like that. So those two ways are going to help kind of the farro uh, bind together. It sounds like a great recipe. So uh, jot these ingredients down. We'll get cooking in just a bit. Back to the kitchen. She says, I am not allowed to watch her child. Oh. Michaela is there. You I promise I'm was, okay. You I can know handle it. I was just I can kidding. Handle it. I can handle it. Uncle Will <laughs> over there. Yeah. Uh, but now we are uh, with another Will. Willis. Chef Willis is here from Centro Restaurant. They are a roadie deal of the day, and they are selling well. RoadieDeals.com. $25 will get you a $50 gift certificate, and that's perfect. If you've got a it birthday is. coming up, if you get some, something to celebrate and even want to give one as a gift, it's a great way to do that. Of course, good value. Okay, you got a little sizzle going on in the pan. Yeah, we're just doing some vegetable stock right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we're going to make most of this, we're going to build some flavor with the farro, just because farro is very roasty but one-dimensional. So we're going to mm. add the squash, make a puree, and then kind of add that to it. So it's kind of like a base, almost like a soupish style base that gives, okay. you, uh, gives you the platform of everything. So normally what I'll just do is take this the pureed squash that we had before mm -hmm. and make a really thin kind of base to it. And Jeff, you told me off camera that this is interchangeable, so if you want to do something like a, a pea, sure. a fresh spring pea, and then you can do that. So, you know, here at Centro, too, we're very approachable people, and mm -hmm. we know that, you know, family is living in the area, and when peas get great or zucchini gets great, this is a, farro's a universal mm -hmm. style grain that you, it's susceptible to a lot of different things. Yeah, you can pair it with just about anything. Or any protein, too, which is nice. Anytime you can get some sort of health and nutrition in your diet without mm -hmm. freaking out about it, the more vegetables, the better. Yeah. So we'll just literally, we'll make this little base. Just This is most of the dish, and the rest just complements it with garnish, and it's super fresh. Wow. You can kind of do it all down. Uh, in the restaurant, we use scallops with this too and we garnish it a little bit nicer mm. so throughout the winter that was one of our really nice dishes yeah that went through but i love the versatility of this dish of like you said it fe it seems really easy to throw together maybe if you have a couple leftover vegetables yeah. from the night before throw them into a dish like this it's a great way to repurpose a couple things and feed your whole yeah. family absolutely Nice. That's the all best right. part about it. Well, we are well on our way. And are you just kind of adding as you go, making sure all that liquid is getting absorbed? Yeah, once it goes, then I'll add a little bit of cheese to it. So what we're really looking okay. for is to get that squash flavor into the farro. So the farro's mm -hmm. already cooked off. It's toasted. And we're just kind of building a little bit of a base to what these beautiful vegetables yeah. will do on top of that. Perfect. Let those ingredients go and just kind of soak in the flavors of yep. one another. All right. Like we said, they are a roadie deal, and this recipe is well underway. We'll finish things up, talk about all those great garnishes, too, and show you how they're applied in just a bit.
Back in the road, Joe <laughs> Kitchen Central Restaurant is our restaurant today. It's also our roadie deal of the day. Mm -hmm. Go to roadiedeals.com, get that $50 voucher for only $25. You can go try some yeah. of this great food, like the uh, the roasted butternut squash and farro. It looks mm -hmm. really good. Can't wait to try it. That's yeah. really thickened up there. It has. The starch has come through, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Mm. This mm. is a little bit heavier, but, you know, the vegetables, when it comes to butternut, they have a lot of starch to them, so yeah. they do thicken up. If you ever had to, that's why we use our veg stock, just to kind of loosen it up a little bit. But yep. right. In the restaurant, I like this because it it's not just like one solid plate. So if mm -hmm. we were going to do this, we would take our cashew puree, mm -hmm. which just kind of adds a little bit of depth to it. And we when plate when you make some sort of like nut puree, like a cashew puree sure. like that, do you have to add anything else to it aside from the nuts or just blending it up? Like, I don't know how much well, moisture they, they have yeah, in well, them. The, the problem is, is that when you when you grind them up, they get super thick. Yeah. So to get that through the machine, say like a blender, you mm -hmm. might have to add we use honey, or we use stock, or we oh, use vegetable okay. stock, stuff like so that. So that, that will sure. fit it out. I was curious right. as to what sort of liquid you would suggest. Yeah, Maybe do, something with a little flavor to it. If you do it. peanut butter, it'll separate because uh -huh. of all the fat that's through there. So you sometimes with us, like I used a little bit of cream and shallot in this to kind of smooth it out. Get the yeah. way we go. Got all right. But, so basically, what we love is we just add that beautiful risotto right next mm. to where and it sits on there nice. Mm -hmm. So in a restaurant setting, that's kind of really nice for us and then at home you know this is where the fun part gets you can do we have baby radishes and herbs and we'll just start with a little bit of uh cheese which is always great with this and we'll pop that right on what okay. cheese do you suggest Jeff? Uh, see pecorino is always the best but there's so many different kinds uh -huh. you can do right. goat cheese you could do yeah you personal know, preference whatever you want else. with us with us cooking should be something um that a lot of people have this like mystified, I can't do it at home, but yeah. we cook at home also. <laughs> so when it comes to stuff like this, you know, baby radishes that are shaved, we are saying beets, mm -hmm. some baby sorrel, anything that's fresh and nutritional. We'll, good, we'll work with this. Yeah, and it's it looks beautiful. We let them sit in water and they shave up. Mm -hmm. And then the fun part, we'll just add some brown butter to it, make Ooh. it sizzle, that's and then good. add the sage right on top, but a very simple dish. Yeah, and I like that. I mean, the the cleanup seems pretty easy too. You're just throwing yeah. everything in one pan, so and you know you're not buying a lot either. There. Right? Yeah. Whatever's right. left over, you know, a lot of people forget. You know, you you buy a beet to have a salad, but then you have left over. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna yeah. do with it later? So now that looks really nice. Yeah. So what we do? We're just gonna hit a little bit of brown butter on this. Mm -hmm. Got a great cast iron pan. Does the does the trick? Have to. It's a this is a little bit cold, but it should be fine. This goes pretty quick. And what this do, it'll it'll melt the cheese a little bit, mm -hmm. give it a okay. lot of complexity. So we'll let this go just a little bit more. So this is our roadie deal of the day as well. As we can tell you all morning long, you can head to roadiedeals.com, get that $50 voucher for only $25. Bucks. Get on it before they are uh, before they're all gone. Yep. Then you can head to Centro and try a lot of these, uh, a lot of the great recipes that uh, you know you make there. Yeah, once it starts oh, getting that smells cloudy, good. <laughs> smells really good. Not yeah. that. Brown best. butter. Who yeah. That's all you need. Yeah. And you don't need a lot, but, you know, for mm -hmm. me, it, it kind of melts everything down. It sizzles over everything, which right. is nice. And then it adds that complexity that a dish like this might not. Yeah. Ooh, it really does sizzle yeah. as you're putting it on, too. And, you Speaking know, of yeah. complex, you, you have a couple other garnishes that mm -hmm. you brought along, too, including that sage. So the sage we fry ahead, okay. you know, in, in the restaurant setting. We look for texture, we look for complexity, mm -hmm. we look for different, um, you know, just we look for different things to make it exciting. It's not right. just you're going to eat 15 bites of the same thing. Yeah. You wanna, sometimes you get sage, sometimes you get carrot, and then on that base of it, then you have all that nice stuff that's mm -hmm. going through. So we try to keep it pretty clean, and then this is our workhorse, little arugula pesto. Ooh. Oh, I know, love a good anything pesto. Anything you want to put through, and we don't add a lot to this, maybe just mm -hmm. a little bit in the middle. Sure. Maybe a little on the side, and this dish is pretty much set. So where are you guys located, too, for, so for anyone who wants to go? In the Omni Hotel, but mm -hmm. um, if you're looking through the mall, they have the Mall Sky entrance. Mm -hmm. It's right into us, uh, comes that way. Oh, right, yeah, I know. Yeah. Yep. So it kind of filters into that. The convention center also filters into us, so nice. we get a lot of Do you get a lot of people yeah. coming in? With all the excitement going on yeah, in the course. city. And that's the, uh, the excitement yeah. of the city's all. a busy place, well, too. Well, that great. looks beautiful. That looks beautiful. That looks yeah, so nice. Yeah, work of art on the plate. So nice. If you want this recipe, go to roadshow.com. If you want the roadie deal, go to roadiedeals.com.